My project is about my roots in Podlasia region, uh, which is in eastern Poland. Before the war, there were 10,000 people and 7,000 people were Jews. So it's impossible to forget that most of your neighbors, of your friends, of people from who you bought meat or wheat or whatever, that they disappeared. Like, what happened to them? And even if you have a negative reaction or a positive reaction, you have a reaction and we have to talk about this reaction. Is there any um, community trauma that was passed on for further generation, including me? I care about my identity and I think that we're better and we understand the world better if we know who we are. And we are somehow connected to the Jews in Krynki, although they don't live there anymore. You don't know how many histories shaped you. And if you know them, it's just easier to live because you understand you and your parents and your grandparents more. I wish everybody had a chance to talk so much with their relatives because the most exciting and interesting but also very heavy part was that you have to admit that a part of your identity is not only positive not only great things about your ancestors sometimes you have to accept that somewhere somewhere inside of you there is a dark history and a part of your identity might be dark and it's not easy to accept it and um, transform into something positive but if you don't touch it it doesn't mean it doesn't exist it's very funny that we humans have this strange feature that we want to know who we are and at the beginning I thought that it's quite silly it's banal everybody does it but I really enjoyed this trip this inner trip and this trip to Podlasia that I could make uh, thanks to, to the grant I received. I think it's not the end and it's not the beginning, but it's a, it's a kind of a process. It's worth continuing and for sure I will do it.